Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a cafe. Are you working on a city or a town or maybe even a village and you find yourself lacking a place that somebody can get a nice reasonable priced cup of tea and maybe even a cheeky slice of cake as well? Well, good news. Look no further. I've made you guys a cafe. I hope you guys like it. I know a lot of you have been requesting some builds that I'd actually you'd find out there in the real world. So I've been making quite a few of your suggestions and we found ourselves with this cafe today. Comment down below and let me know what else you want me to build next. I have been fulfilling loads of requests recently and I don't want that to stop. The only way that that gets to continue is if you tell me what you want to see. So in the comments, let me know what you want to see next. Do the same thing on Twitter, at TSMC360, and if you want to make any more things that would fit into a city or a town, or anything a bit more on the realistic side, then check out the cards and the description below for my Real World Builds playlist. You'll find loads of stuff in there, but that's more than enough talking, guys. Why don't we talk about how we actually go about making this adorable little cafe? Well, to start this build, we'll need some block of quartz, some birch wood planks, some white stained glass beams, some spruce wood fence, some quartz slabs, some spruce wood stairs, some red wool, some white wool, and some signs. We may not even need some of these that we have just yet, but hey, we need to start with something. By the way, you will also at some point need every single other one of these materials and probably quite a few more as well. So you may want to pause this, grab everything that you see in the inventory, and then we can begin our work. So grab everything. Once you have everything, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right about here. Well, you're going to want to kick off your calf with a row of four block of quartz coming directly up from the ground. That's one, two, three, four. And it's worth mentioning, by the way, that I'm making this cafe from the back. So this is the back wall of the cafe. I'm going to be building it forward. So I'm going to be dragging it forward towards me. From this fourth block, I'm going to extend it to the right by eight with the quartz. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then connect that eighth block down to the ground. What you also want to do is you want to take this middle block that we have here, this middle block of quartz, it's easy to see, and also connect it down to the ground as well, like that. Then we want to take these top two corner blocks, this one on the left and this one on the right, and we want to extend them forwards with the quartz by four. That's one, two, three, four, and then that will be one, two, three, four. And you can also connect those down to the ground, however you do not have to connect them together, like this. What we then want to do is we want to take this fourth block on the right that we just extended and we want to extend it forwards by a further four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then we want to connect that down to the ground and we also want to take that fourth block and we want to go left of it by three with the virtual planks. That's one, two, three. Then place a block of quartz. Connect that quartz to the ground. We then want to take that uh, that single block of quartz that we just connected to the ground and we want to extend it left by four. That's one, two, three, four. Then connect that backwards all the way back to where you first started to give you kind of like a nice square shape. And you guys might be able to tell now like this is where the entrance of the cafe is. And just in the interest of making this easy, uh, you see this front top left hand corner block here, right? Move back one, take this quartz, go down to the ground with it, with your birch wood planks, and then connect it backwards, like this. Great. Also, you can fill this little 2x2 two two square of empty space in with glass while you're at it. What do we want to do next? Well, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a layer of birch wood planks here. So, can you see where we have this row of free birch wood here that we've just connected down to the ground? Leaving a gap of two going right, do another row of free birch wood planks, like this. In this top row, connect the top two blocks together with a row of spruce wood stairs, like this. We now want to take the top front right hand corner, and we want to place a block of quartz on top of it, which is this one. And then just over to the left here, where we have this other row of quartz that connects down to the ground, we want to place an additional quartz on top of this. I think it's time for us to start making the rest of the shape of the cafe here before things start getting a bit complicated and convoluted. So we want to come all the way to the very back of the cafe now. And on top of the back two corners of the cafe, you want to go up on top of these corner blocks by four with the quartz. That's one, two, three, and four. And we want to take this one and we want to go one, two, three, four. We then want to place 
a quartz slab on top of each one of those four blocks and you can also connect those together at the back like this. What you can also do is you can take each one of those quartz slabs and you can extend them forwards towards you by four, that's one, two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three, four. Connect those down to the ground and you should find that they line up with the other vertical rows of a block of quartz, like this. You can also do a row of quartz slab, or a row of block of quartz that runs all the way back up the back center part of the cafe, like this, so it kind of looks like a big giant plus shape. Once you have your plus shape, you can then, and this is a little bit tricky guys, you can then take these two front hand corner slabs, connect them together left and right like this with the slabs, so you've now made this. Uh, the next thing that we can do, I think what we're going to do here is, you want to do a row of, we don't have this material with us, we're going to need the white stained glass block here. And can you see where we have this row of quartz on the upper left hand side? Well we want to have a row of two glass starting from the bottom two like quartz blocks. We then want to place a virtual plank above that and then extend that plank all the way over to the right. Also do a row of virtual planks above this. You then, leaving a gap of one where you began the glass, you want to have another row of two glass coming down. Then a row of virtual planks, then a row of glass, leave a gap of one, place glass, to give you something which should look like this. Now take out your red wool and your white wool. What you want to do is, just above where we have the door, so this row of quartz and virtual planks and stuff, you want to start from in front of this quartz and you want to place a white wool in front of it. Then going right, place a... No, you know what, then in front of that white wall, you want to place an additional white wall. Destroy the first one. Go right of that white by one with your red, then one with your white. Red, white, red, white, red, white, until you eventually reach the opposite side. Then one row above and diagonally in relation to that, you want the same row. So where you placed white on the previous row, place white. Where you placed red on the previous row, place red. Except, of course, it is just one row higher. Then what we want to do, you know what, it'd actually be easier for us if we had a bit of a floor to this place. So I'm going to get rid of block of quartz and the virtual planks for a sec. And I'm going to grab virtual slabs and I do believe, what did I use for the material for the second floor? Ah, I used stone slabs of course. Okay, so for the outside portion here, like where you can actually eat outside because that's what this is guys. We want this to be birchwood slabs, but... Everything, like, starting from underneath the glass and where the wall is, that wants to be stone slabs. It's just this outer portion that wants to be birchwood slabs. And I would very highly recommend using these slabs instead of the planks, just because I like the a little bit of room. Um, that's the only reason, I suppose. But there you go, the outside portion wants to be birchwood slabs, and the inside portion, I like stone slabs. And you might be doing yourself a favour if you leave, let me, let me show you in a sec. So, on the left hand side here, inside, if you leave this strip of three blocks alone, like this, leave those alone, and you'll find that we'll be using those for a walkway later. So, leave those empty. Uh, once you've got that taken care of, you can then take out your spruce wood fence and you can go all the way around the edge of the little balcony that you have here with your spruce wood fence. Like, whoa, I have deleted a block, that's not a good idea. So, it'll end up looking a little something like that, that's quite nice really. Whilst we have the stone slabs, nah, never mind, we won't do that just yet. We'll do the walls of the cafe since we're since we're cracking on with these. So, I'm going to grab the quartz and the virtual planks again. Uh, let's start on the... We've done all of the front, haven't we? No, we haven't. So, this front of the cafe, where we have just underneath, like... Well, you can see it. We kind of have, like, this eight shape. At the bottom of the empty space here, we want a row of virtual planks. And then above it, you can use either glass, which I'm going to do, or rather, you can use either panes or block. Um, I'm using white stained glass pane, but you can use the glass block as well. On the left hand side of the cafe, we're just going to fill this space in with virtual planks. Below, the above portion, we're just going to have a row of virtual planks, then two rows of glass, and then the upper row will just be virtual planks, so we have a window on the second floor. 
On the back, the back is just entirely... Is it entirely? Hang on. Yeah, the back I have made just entirely birchwood planks. Although, it doesn't have to be. If on the second floor you feel that you want a window or so, um, you can make the second floor windows if you like, in the same fashion that we did on the opposite side. The reason that I don't have windows on the back or on the sides here um, is because right here is going to be like a cash register and stuff. So I didn't want them to, I didn't want them to like mess about with each other. But that's the back. Have windows up above if you like. It will make it a bit brighter. On this opposite side, um, where we have the section closest to the front, we just want a row of virtual planks, and then we can fill the rest of the space in with glass. And then what you can do is, for this back portion, the bottom half completely wants to be virtual planks, but I didn't plan for this. Um, on this side, if you like, you can have the same window. You can you can have windows again. So the second floor can be nice and bright, maybe a little bit nicer in general. And, oh, there's a row of virtual planks up at top. And um, down below, it's just where we, we've got like a lot of technical stuff down below, so we can't really have it all nice and open. But there you go, that's what you want to have. And if you like, you can also fill in uh, the top of the roof here with glass. Um, because I like glass. I like to keep it nice and open like this. Um, you can have it in a big rectangular shape like this. Or what you could do is you could have a row of quartz slabs here. And if you liked, just just since we are doing this at the moment. And if you liked, I didn't plan for this. I, I don't typically plan for these things. I'd use glowstone for this part. Um, I'm, I'm going to grab a little bit of glowstone here. And I'm just going to have a strip of glowstone. Just, well, that's, that's wrong. A strip of glowstone here, just right in the top. Just because I kind of like like that and, uh, and yeah I mean you can have that if you like or not it's kind of up to you uh, once you've got that taken care of once you've got the walls and once you've got the roof taken care of we should probably I think I'm going to take care of the outside of this before anything else so first of all I'm going to just get rid of the glass for a sec and the glowstone I'm going to grab andensite and we'll need the stone slabs for this uh, we don't need the glass um, we need spruce wood fence we do actually need glowstone, funnily enough, I'm kind of glad that I grabbed that. Um, we don't need the slams. We do need the spruce wood fence, we do need the signs, we do not need the red wool or the white wool, but we do need the carpets. Plus, also grab string. String's actually kind of important, this is a trick that I learned recently. Okay, let's talk about what we're going to do here. So, in front of the calf, we want to take the bottom front right hand corner of the cafe, which is this one, this quartz block, and we're going to extend it out in front of the calf by four in the ground. That's one, two, three, four. We're then going to extend this all the way over to the left here, and we're going to connect it to the right hand side of the entrance, so we've created this sort of shape here. We're also going to take just left of the bottom of the entrance, we're just going to have a, a row of just empty space dug into the ground like this. Can you see what I mean? So we have kind of like an I shape and a U shape. We're just missing an O. Fill these spaces in with andensite. What we're making is we're making a little path which walks us into the cafe. Plus we are also, uh, we're making an area where people can eat and stuff. So it's going to look nice. Uh, destroy all of the ground involved in the andensite. So all the way around inside of the andensite and just in between the path that lets you walk into the room. And also, you know what, completely destroy the floor inside the cafe as well. Uh, we were going to make this stone anyway, so why not do it now? Who's stopping us? No one, exactly. You guys know the answer to that. So we're just going to destroy all this. We'll make it stone. Uh, use a different material if you like, if it's a bit easier for you to use wood or whatever you can get your hands on. It kind of depends. I know a lot of you guys build in survival. God help you, but uh, I like stone slabs. So I'm just going to completely fill this in. Oh, we still have the outside portion. We've just got one more row um, for the entrance and inside the cath as well. So mm, there we go, that did it. And now I'm just going to do inside of here. Slabs do make it a bit more difficult just to place. So if you want to avoid the irritation, I understand. There we go, so we now have the floor done and we have the outside done a bit. Okay, so on the front left to right hand corner and inside here, we want to stack a spruce wood fence. Above that, a glowstone. Above that, a stone slab. You guys know what that is? That's just a nice little fancy lamp. I like that. Okay, so we're going to have, I don't know what you call these things, but it's basically just like a sun guard, and it's going to be in front of this front window. And it's going to be comprised of spruce wood fence, and it's going to begin, can you see here, so it's in line with the quartz here, 
in the front window. It is one row away. And the rows of spruce wood fence that you want to stack will go as high as the actual, like, it will go as high as here. So it will go, like, up to the top of the window. So this part will still be exposed. So it will look a little something like this. Don't know why I took off. Like, it will look like this. And it'll look like this. And we're also going to connect these together and to the back wall. Let me show you what we're going to do here. So, string. String's an interesting thing. This is what I learned recently. String, you can barely see it on the ground there. You can see it, but you can very barely see it. What does string let you do? Well, it lets you place carpet on top of it. And you can't really see anything down below. So, we're going to use this to allow us to place this little thing. The little, like, sun cover in the air like this so it's a little bit tricky to actually get it placed but there you go we've just placed string underneath these like I, I can't even see it myself i can't see this can you guys see it i i genuinely can't i'm not being i, I can't see it and we want to use the same thing here and we just want to place um, more string so um here is that placed oh, i'm using carpet here here and here, there we go. And then we just want to place the carpet on top in this pattern. So red, white, red, white. Like that. That looks nice. I like that. And we're also going to have two seats. The seats are parallel to the uh, posts that connect the little sun cover down to the ground. They're one row away. And they have signs next to them. So we'll use the spruce wood chairs for those. Or the spruce, <laughs> the spruce wood stairs become spruce wood chairs. And they're just evenly spaced from each other. And what we're going to have is we're going to knock out a block here, this middle landing site, the one below it too. I'm going to get rid of most of my stuff here, and I'm going to grab a block of redstone. I'm also going to grab a piston like this, and I'm also going to... I already have it actually. So I'll place a block of redstone with a piston on top, and then I'll place like a red carpet on top of that. There we have a nice little table. I love those tables. I think that they look quite nice. There's another table as well. Um, this table is in the very back left-hand corner here. And in the back left-hand corner of the calf, we want to take this corner block, move forward by one, knock out this block, the one below it, place a redstone with a piston on top, with a seat behind it, with a sign next to it, place like a little tablecloth. There's another table. This table is positioned like this. Let me let me actually get out all of the materials we'll need for this since we're doing a little bit of the interior design. So um, we actually need some uh, we need some oak wood planks. We're going to place a row of four oak wood planks right behind the front window. We're going to take this oak wood plank on the right and extend it towards us by one. We're going to place a spruce wood stairs either side of this empty row of three. We're going to destroy the center block and we'll place a red block of redstone in it with a piston on top and we'll place like a nice little tablecloth on top if we like. Also, we'll place a bit of red carpet going all the way around on top of those oak woods. Plus, we'll add a wooden trap door on the end of this just to make it a bit more interesting. And we'll also place these signs next to these. So, there we have a pretty nice interesting looking table. And uh, if you don't Nah, actually, there's nothing we can do about that. And that looks quite nice. Um, moving outside once more, because I feel it. Am I missing something outside? Oh, I am. So, outside here, just so we can finish it off, we need the brown stained clay, we need the wooden trap doors, which I've just got rid of, and jungle leaves. Outside the entrance, just in front, we're going to have brown stained clay either side. We're going to have wooden trap doors all the way around it. You guys know what I'd like. I like potted plants. And I'm just going to have two potted plants with jungle leaves on top. Boom, there we go. We have a nice little entranceway into the calf. And that is all there is out here, pretty much. Um, later on, now, we're going to add a row of poppies. Because I like poppies, my favourite flower in Minecraft. Going to add a layer of poppies where we can because one of those plants actually messes with it. Um, we're going to add a layer of poppies going all the way around outside here. Because why not? I think I've already said that like three times. But hey. Also, speaking of the outside. Um, we're going to have two seats above here on the second floor. We'll have a spruce wood stairs here and here. And I'm going to place signs on either side of them. I don't think I have a table on the second floor. Although I do have to check my plans. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> I place that on top of it. That's 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 a good way to reserve your seat, I guess. Put your literally put a sign on it, and uh, and then write your name in there. I'm just very quickly checking, guys. 
No, what we do have on the second floor, however, is we have a lamp um, that lights things up. We need the redstone lamp for this, we need the lever. Um, built into the wall where we have this row of three birch wood planks, although you can't see it, we take this middle plank, place a redstone lamp behind it, and we place a lever behind this. Flick, 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 flick. Actually, no, you know what? We'll have, I'll tell you what, we're going to change this up. We're going to take this row of birch wood planks here, we're going to get rid of it, and we're going to make it instead block of quartz, because I like the idea a bit better. We're going to, where we originally placed that lamp, I'm going to place a lamp in front of that block, and then behind the quartz block I'm going to have the lever, and then we have the nice lit up block. Um, I actually didn't just change my mind there, what I did is I realised that I built that wall wrong, but I like that better anyway, I, I like I like what I did, I almost changed it, but I, I changed back at the last second. That's quite good, that's the outside. On the second floor as well, um, since we're here and we're doing stuff, um, I'm going to grab the spruce wood stairs and we need the signs once more. And we also need, uh, ba -ba -ba, we need the oak wood slabs, plus um, some sort of fence as nice and some sort of carpet. In the very um, right hand corner here on the second floor, we're going to have two opposite facing tables with an oak wood slab here. Um, the oak wood slab is just supposed to look like a table, like that looks nice. Right in the center of the room, one row away from this little leather here, we're going to place a spruce wood frame, a uh, spruce wood fence with like a red carpet on top, maybe even a white one. I like white. No, no I don't, I like red. Red's much better thinking about it, livens up the room a bit. There we go. Okay, so that's the entire second floor. Um, for the first floor, not got much left. Uh, we can actually get rid of some of this. Uh, gonna grab quartz stairs. Um, on the second floor here, where we have this very back... You remember how we have this empty row of three, right? We want to place a stair right in the top back left hand corner side here. And then we want to have stairs that taper down to the first floor, like this. That's how you get up and down the calf. Um, yeah, that should be enough. Or do we have to also destroy... Ah, we have to destroy that block as well, but that's okay. Nobody cares about that one. There we go, wonderful. Um, on the first floor, we have just about everything, but you know what? I'm actually comfortable getting rid of all of these materials because I don't think we'll need most of them. Um, to make the little cash register and all that sort of stuff, we need, like, the spruce wood planks. We need the uh, we need the wooden trap doors of this. We also need the quartz stairs. Also going to grab some flower parts. I'm going to grab a blue orchid because I, I don't know. I'm liking blue orchids at the moment, to be honest with you. I think they're a band. I'm also going to grab some stone slabs. I'll also need uh, we'll need some item frames as well. I'm also forgetting something else um, outside. I'll remind myself. Brewing stand. We need a furnace. And we'll need, and this will remind me, we need the uh, item frames. Okay, let's make this. So, starting from this bo this like middle row at the back, where we have this quartz, right? We want to place a spruce wood plank coming out from the bottom of this row. We then want to place a wooden trap door coming forwards. Then a spruce wood plank. We then want to extend to the right, <laughs> we need a material, and we're going to need the birchwood slabs for this. We then want to connect it to the right using birchwood slabs, like that. Place a quartz stairs on that centre birchwood slab facing towards the back of the counter. Um, we want to place a flower pot on the front left hand corner with an orchid in it. Um, I'm also going to place a row of three stone slabs right at the back here. Um, on the back wall, so this is used as like a bit of a utility for the owner of the calf. Um, on the left hand slab I'm going to place a brewing stand, on the right I'm going to place a furnace. Above these, uh, above the shelf I'm going to place a row of three item frames above the, uh, the brewing stand and the furnace. Um, we're going to need some other things. Um, to put in this, I'm just going to use like, I better have them. Um, I'm going to use like flower pots, cake, and I'm also going to use, well that, you know what, cookie as well. I'd like, I'd like a nice cookie. And for the outside, by the way, we're also going to need something. We're going to need the uh, spruce wood fence. We'll also need item frames again. And we also need the uh, quartz slabs. So in these item frames, do like flower pot, cake, cookie, like that. And that's the inside pretty much done. Uh, we have to light it up a bit, but I'll do that once we've finished the outside part. So that's the inside looking pretty nice. On the outside, um, I'm going to just left of this quartz 
block on the left hand side at the front of the car this one that's connected down to the ground with the birch wood planks i'm going to extend this to the left by three with the quartz slabs that's one two three i'm then going to do two spruce wood fence underneath the last two blocks with item frames in them then i'm going to place a flower pot and a cake inside the item frames and that is your cafe pretty much complete that's just a little sign telling people what you sell as if it wasn't already obvious from the build which it isn't it yeah it kind of isn't you, you can't really tell that well just by looking at it but you put a sign up in every Everybody knows. Uh, also, I'm going to light this thing up just a little bit. I'm going to add some torches where, where you can't see them. So I'll add like a torch here. That's nice. Maybe one on the left. Uh, why not? Maybe one on this back wall. And I don't want to add one there. Um, maybe maybe one here as well, just to keep things light inside here. It doesn't have to be that light. Um, plenty of light on the second floor, so there's no need. But guys, this is the cafe. That's, that's it pretty much complete. Um, obviously, you can mold this how you want. You can make this bigger, you can make it smaller, you can change the materials. I'd highly recommend changing the materials to something that you'd like. Um, you don't have to make it out of the stuff I've made it out of. If you don't want, you could make it out of anything, if you like. I mean, I bet oak could look good. Maybe oak and stone if you're looking for a bit more of a medieval-looking-ish cafe. But this is my favourite view of it, this one right here. I think it looks fantastic, and I hope you guys do too. So if you like this video, please give it a like. I really appreciate it. I hope it helped you to design a cafe or make this exact one. It's completely up to you, of course. Um, comment down below, let me know uh, what you would like to see next, I'm very interested. I love little builds like this, stuff that you'd find in real life that aren't insane to make. I do like building big things from time to time, but I like smaller, more detailed projects like this. I think I've, I think I've captured the essence of a cafe quite well with this. Um, follow me on Twitter, at TSMC360, suggest stuff that you might want me to build there, up to you. Talk to me. Do what you want to like. Send me pictures of stuff. That's my favourite. Uh, also, check out the cards and the description below for some of my previous and future builds. Um, yeah, that's right. Coming to the future. Um, I would highly recommend the Real World Buildings playlist if you're into this sort of stuff. If you like stuff that you'd find in the real world, Real World Buildings playlist has no equal for that. Um, I guess that's everything. Subscribe if you like. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.